Yeah, I don't worry. He's okay. So we can just make this hey. a less formal presentation and more of just an update, and that would be great. Another hey, bright me, sunny I'm... day, huh? Yeah, but it's, it's, it's a great sunny day, but it's not hot. You see, if this weather in KL is very, very hot, but in Gun Ding, it's just sunny and it's not hot. What's the like, temperature so, difference between uh, downtown KL and Genting? Downtown KL, in, in, if meet you, if you talk about meet you, uh, it's like 10 Fahrenheit is different. 10, huh? Mm, 10 Fahrenheit is different. 10 to 15. 10 to 15. Different. That elevation really helps. Yep. Great. Uh, let, uh, okay, let's see how... This is the hey, can you see that? It's blur? Yeah, it's it's still blurry though. Give it a second. Maybe your bandwidth is uh you get it to focus? No, I think I got what happened right now. Wait. Uh okay. because last meeting I tried to make my background blur at all. So I think I have to change ah. that. Yeah, now we really get very blood coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So sorry. <laughs> yeah, because last meeting I put it at a blur mood. No, okay, now we're getting a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, got so you. So this is this is uh the construction right now on my go. left hand side. That one tallest. That one is on tower two, and another one on the right hand side was tower one. So tower two uh, eventually will topping uh at will, will complete with the topping together with tower one at September this year. September. September this year. The, and and I'm so, sorry, say say again what will be done by September? The topping. The topping. We'll fill out the food okay. topping. Yeah, we'll fill out all the topping which that the whole construct whole, whole structure will be completely done right uh, by september of the, uh, this year so you yeah. can see from the outside uh, i'm not really sure whether you can find the difference you see some of the level on top we have filled up the icon ledge place in the middle if you see yeah. i don't I'm not sure you can see in the top there you can see there's the difference with the bottom so the internal renovation is start working now it's ongoing right now right yeah. So uh, we will complete this one at the year end of 2025, both tower. Like fully complete? Fully end, complete. End of 2025? Yeah, fully complete end of 2025. Then the hotel will take another three months to move in. So the hotel will three to six month time to move in. So estimated the hotel will start at the 2026. Uh, start in like middle of 2026? Yes. Because of three to six months? Yeah, three to six months. So uh, by next month, we will start to paint some color from the structure outside. Because we want to, we will paint some color outside, then you can see the difference. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Rit, so this... our, my good friend Rit has joined us. So Rit, you're welcome to come off mute and ask questions as well. I, since it's such a small group, we're just getting a casual update from Kevin, who's the project manager on site. And okay. Rit runs an investment group out of Toronto. And I uh, invited him to come and take a look at our project. So just to catch you up, Rit, those two towers in the photo right now, those are towers one and two. They'll be the first two to be completed out of 10. Uh, and the target to complete them is by the end of next year. Uh, and then get the um, Gloria Hotel Group to move in and start operating it as a hotel by mid-2026. So that's kind of the time frame we're looking at. Um, Kevin, the, uh, the you, you can resume or you can give us a tour of the units. Uh, Rid, I don't know if you can see in the foreground there, down on the ground level. Yes. Those are models. Yeah, yeah motor house. Right. Uh, I will ask my friend, uh, colleague to help me. I will bring you to the showroom. 
where this is the show off model house for the type A and type B, right? Previously that I close up the video and I show you when we are here. So this is how we go through. Yeah. So today the, the weather today is like around 50, uh, 77 Fahrenheit. It's sunny and it's not very hot. And I'm not sweating at all. If this if this sunny day in KL, I'm sweating because the temperature will go up to 89 Fahrenheit. And nowadays, uh, Malaysia are getting hotter and hotter, especially in the towns area. So Genting is one of our place that we choose to have a sunny day, but at, with a cold weather. So you can see from that side, it's a lot of greenery and landscaping here. That's why Genting is also famous for tourism. You can see there's still cloudy. Uh, it will going to rain soon. Right. Yeah, you weren't on yet, Rip, but I was asking him the the difference in temperature with uh, Kuala Lumpur as compared to the Genting Highlands, which is where this is. And he says the elevation has a an impact of about ten to fifteen degrees because KL gets pretty hot, as you might know, um, but Genting not so much. Yeah, the Genting not so right. much, but if you say this, this is I'm mid chill now. If I would say I want to go to the hill top, the temperature will much more colder. The temperature and the hill top is like 54, 55 to fifty Fahrenheit, averagely, right? So hill top will much more. Colder. Yeah, where the casino the is, right? Yeah. Yes, you're right. Where yeah. the casino. All right. So we are at the Type B showroom. This is at the corner, next to the lift. It's a 753 square feet and it's a one bedroom, one bathroom, one living area, showroom. You can have a look. And this unit starting price start from $210. $210,000, sorry. So this is how it looks like. This, all this unit have come with fully furnished. As the hotel needed, we will provide exclude those small deco items and the washing machine because hotel they do have Dolby service so we don't provide washing machine and we don't provide those small deco items so one thing good about ours is because we have a very large balcony here whereby we want our customer in the morning open up the balcony you can feel the sunlight and the cold weather and the last greenery here that's why we design our balcony in this method Right, let's look at the master bedroom. So in the future, you have a door here that will provide for you, and this is just a showroom. Get in here, right? So it's a one beta with a toilet bowl, toilet bath, and a shower bath. And for this unit, you have an exclusive balcony which is separated for the living area and then you have a bathtub outside so i'll put my friend on that location so imagine this morning you wake up and gun thing meet you right after a coffee you can have your bath here right not fully naked with your underwear or swimming pants right <laughs> and, and <don't... laughs> And enjoy the greenery view here. So this is the design here. Every unit in Tower 1 and 2 come with a bathtub. So this is very prime unit here. So this is how it looks like for the Type B. Then we will go to the Type A. It's a two-bedroom, two-bathroom. So uh, an additional information for you, if this is a one-bedroom in Genting, so the rental price for hotel per night is about $89 for us to kick start. But we are arranging a five-star hotel management to manage it. But if you are going to Hill Top, the first world hotel in from Genting Group, you are also getting an $89 per night, but with a three and a half star standard. So we are trying to be price competitive to for our client, right? Let's go for a type B, uh, type A, which is a bigger unit.
They have uh, one, two, and three bedroom units, Rit. And then yeah. they also feel like a lot of people might buy two neighboring units and have a door between them for family. Yeah. That one I will show you later when we get into the showroom. So this is another unit at the corner. So this is type A. It's 1,184 square feet. It's a two bedroom, one dining, one living, one kitchen. And for this showroom, we have only one bathtub here. But in future, we will add one more here. So when it's complete, you have two bathtub. Uh, you have two bathroom here, sorry. You have one bathtub and two bathroom here. But let's take a look. So when you walk inside, this is how it looks like. So currently, this is on a... Uh, uh, concept kitchen while well, we want to make it look bigger wider for all our tenants so basically this is the dining area this is the living area so what's so special about this two bedroom if you come to vacation for a family especially Chinese they would like to have their own dining area, then they can have their hot pot here. So this is the concept why we design a rooms with a dining area. So you can enjoy your hot pot, your dinner, something hot, just to enjoy the moment here. So, and this is the common bathroom that come to share with, a, with the second bedroom and the guest. So I'm here with the second bathroom, uh, sorry, so second bedroom. So this is how it look like. It's a square and monthly. And for the second bedroom, it's connected to the living area. Okay. So where am I now? It's the master bedroom. So when you come to the rooms, right now what you see here is a cabinet. So we will remove the cabinet, make it as a toilet for the horse privacy. Then we will move the cabinet here. So that it will be more useful for and more re reasonable for all our guests and well, connected and is separated. So this is how the bathtub looks like. Right. So I think we go back to the showroom and we start uh, for the project detail, shall we? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Right. Thank you. So um, so today I, we will end a question, uh, end a session on the Q&A while we are on another showroom, right? So I have to... I have to go to the project first, then only we go to the showroom so that uh, you will much more understand on this. We will be patient. So I will close the video. Yeah, I will close the video right now because it's a far walking from us. Okay. Any question you want to ask for the showroom? Or any question you come to the mind that you want to ask? Anything regarding? You can ask them. two bedroom. That two bedroom then is not fully complete yet. Uh, no, no sorry, uh, not fully complete yet. Uh, for what? Yeah, so that two bedroom that that you that you just showed there, so it's not fully done yet. Like, there's another bathroom that's gonna be going in there. Uh, yeah, there was another bathroom going to be in there. We changed the layout. Oh, okay. We changed got the it, layout. Yeah, we changed the layout plan. Because when okay. it was designed, we design they designed it in the one ba one bath one bathroom type, and we found it's not so realistic, so realistic, and it's not so useful when there's only one bathroom because they have no privacy. So that's why we make it two now. Right, right, okay. Are so are these both the stand up showers? Yeah, yes, there's all both stand up shower. Okay. You are right. So you if you want to enjoy 
bathtub, then you have to enjoy at the balcony. Don't worry, a lot sort of, yeah, you will have friends enjoy with, uh, together with you. Okay. Because it's designed for check out, okay, for check in like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, so people will enjoy that. <laughs> Got it, okay. Right, so we are going to our showroom now. Then this is our sales gallery. We spend ten million dollar, uh, ten million ringgit for the entire, uh, sales gallery. You can have a look. So, uh, before I continue further, let's start on the location first. I believe that. You guys might know about Malaysia, especially the downtown Kuala Lumpur. Okay, so Kuala, Kuala Lumpur is a capital city for Malaysia. So all the third sector industry are all majorly stayed at Kuala Lumpur. Okay. So for us to come to Kuala Lumpur, it only takes 45 minutes to drive all the way to reach our project at the BQ. Okay, so what is the surrounding amenity we have that which is ready or ongoing? So first, in the mid queue, Genting, they will build the second star arena, which is the concert hall for Genting Group that can fit 16,000 packs. They are building it here. So this is the star arena too, which is the new latest concert hall which is in their brand and uh, in their plan and the construction is ongoing so this is one of the uh, facility here where we go up more then we have the premium outlet so whereby a lot of people they can come and shopping buy a branded thing with a lower price they can enjoy the benefit here which is a shopping uh, place then we can take the cable car all the way to Genting Highland so other than that, we have Ching Sui Temple. This is one of the tourism hot, hotspot as well for our visitor when they're visiting to Malaysia. And then we have a uh, Awana Golf Club here. It's a nine-hole golf club. And out, the outsider are welcome to play. I, if I'm not mistaken, uh, for a match of nine-hole, it costs around $10, 10 to $15 per match. So all the way go up, we have the Genting Group. Genting Group is one of the famous and well-known uh, tourism hotspot builder in Malaysia. They built tourism place, right? According to Genting last year's statistic report, 2023, there have nearly 30 million visitors visiting them per annum. If we are divided all these people into daily basis, there will be 70,000 people are visiting them per day. And for these 70,000 people, 30% of them will choose to stay in Genting at least one night. So which means it's 21,000 pets will stay there. So Genting, what they have? The major business in Genting is casino, the first Team park, the second, shopping, the third, food and beverage is the fourth, hotel is their least. Why I say so? They are the world genius record, the largest hotel in the world. Each one, the, for the single one hotel, first world, they have more than 7,000 rooms for one single hotel, and they have seven towers hotel there that have 10,000 rooms supply to the market. But due to the nature of business as a casino owner, they reserve 60% of the room for the casino guests. It's free. So they don't make any profit from the hotel. Even though nowadays, they still have plenty of land in Genting, Q-Top, and they're not planning to do any more hotel because it's, they use this for free to their guests. So... The 40% of the room, will lead, they will rent it out to the market for those who come for concert hall because they have another star arena here that can fix 6,000 people. It's a concert hall for the concert, for the theme park, 
for the short vacation and for a daily trip. So which means that their hotel room is out of, uh, out of supply. So people have no choice. They have to come to meet you to stay on those A, B, and B. Right. So what IBN we're going to build today? So we are here now. This is our sales gallery. And behind us, there will be 100 acres of land. 21 acres of land. Sorry, 21 acres of land that we were going to build the second largest hotel complex in Genting. So why we do so? Genting itself, seven blocks. They have First World, Genting Grand, Grand Hyatt, uh, so not Grand Hyatt, Genting Grand Corporate Hotel from three and a five, half star to five star. But for us, all these 10 hours, we only invite five star hotel operator. And it's come to 4,400 4, rooms once it was complete. So as you see just now, well, two tower was on construction was the tower one and tower two, right? So tower one is for this both tower, each tower they have 244 units per blocks and each floor they have 10 units. So the they have two side, two type of product here, which is what we say the typical layout is for 753, where you see just now the one bedroom. 893 is a dual key, like uh, Eddie say, the links room, I will show you later. And another one is the 1184. That one is what we say the two bedroom just now, as we saw. So we have another oxidized layout, only applicable to these two towers. So in the future, all the remaining towers, they have only hotel size room. So that's why tower one and two is much more premium compared with others. So the oxide units are come across with 1,300 square feet and above. Up to the maximum is 4,477, right? So now until today, 80% of the unit have been sold okay, to the market. So we have left 20%. So these two towers will complete at the year of 2025. End of 2025, and the hotel will start operate. Uh, they, they will come in within three to six months time and they will start operate. So, what do we have for the hotel operation? So, for tower one and two, as AD mentioned just now, it was managed by a China brand five star hotel operator, which is what we say a Gloria. So they are managing their hotel in the China famous tourism and travel hotspot which is called Sanya or Hainan. So this is one of the two of the places in China, which is very famous for uh, summer season uh, or cold season traveling. Okay, so Tower 3 and 3A will also manage, Tower 3 and 3 will also manage by Gloria. Tower 5 and Tower 6, we have assigned to our new partner from Middle East. They will bring in the Middle East Five Star Hotel brand. So we're not going to uh, uh, allocate on that. But Tower 9, we have signed a agreement with Sofitel. So Sofitel will come in the future for the hotel management on Tower 9. So what we left is Tower 7, Tower 8, and Tower 10. We are still discussing with some of the hotel uh, brand. So see who will come and manage for us. So all these are managed under a five-star hotel brand. So as an owner, what do you get? Right. Under the hotel management, they will manage for the you as an owner for nine years' time. Which means this nine year, your property, you no need to take care, you no need to manage, you just leave all the things to the hotel and they will give you a profit sharing. So from the net, uh, from the net profit. Okay, so every six months, they will do the accounting. Uh, uh, they will close the account. Then after the calculation, we will give the profit sharing to the owner. You might ask me, what happened to the hotel if they didn't do a good business? What happened if the COVID or other virus hit the world again? How will the hotel sustain? Or how will the owner to be like? So uh, from developer side, we will cap a minimum 5% guarantee to the client. 
if Gloria is not doing good business or the disaster hit the world or anything happened or maybe there was another hotspot come across maybe called uh, Sempa or what other places that hit the business here we will definitely guarantee customer with a minimum 5% right so you might ask since Genting have so many uh, visitors how can we ensure people will choose IBM but not others right and how can we ensure that there will be always demand more than supply Okay, and not supply more than demand. Right. First thing I want to tell you is in the center, we have a 3,000, a 300,000 square feet of convention center. This is what we call the IBN CC, right? IBN CC. So within these 300,000 square feet, we will utilize 80% of the space for one big convention hall, one classical music theater rooms, and eight to 10 multifunctional hall. And all these places can fit 8,000 packs. And these 8,000 packs will just nice to fill up the entire places, okay? So the remaining 20% of the space, we will use it for bar and f &B. Then, and a convenience shop, okay? So how can we ensure that people will come to utilize the convention center, okay? A very rare example, my bosses uh, previously, they do a lot of events in KL, in Genting, and in other places. What happened if we do event in like your hometown? After the event, you will just definitely go back to your home and enjoy your family time. And this is similar happened to what we do at event in downtown. And then, my bosses previously, when they want to do an event in Genting, they have a they have a multifunctional hall up there, which what they say is the Genting International Convention Center, which can only fit one thousand packs. But for him to make a, a reservation on the event space, it took him one year to one year plus. So you can see that Genting had a lot of event space request and demand. So that's why we do a convention center here. What is the concept we want to? give it to the client is let's say today um uh, or to put put a very example simple and life easy prudential prudential's teams annual meeting right prudential agent they have an annual meeting here they can bring along all their family all right to stay in all the hotel the parents will have their event on function here at the convention center the kids and the elders they can bring them all the way to Genting for casino or the, for theme park or for their shopping. After the event, the parents can join the kids and the family and they can continue with the holiday. So we want to make sure our client and their family is work-life balancing. Like they have their own sweet time after the event and function. So you might tell me, hey, Kevin, I have, I'm not driving in Malaysia. I have no car. Then how should we go to Genting? No worry, we have a shelter bus service from the hotel. We will send you to the premium outlet that you can take the cable car to uh, Genting. And it's very near to the casino. How much per trip? Uh, it's around $2, $3 per trip. You can reach to the Genting, right? So other than that, in front of us, there's another new development, what we call a King's Park. They will have a 1000 unit of commercial lot that they were going to build and complete at the year of 2026. And they have, the way they manage is they will only allow branded uh, business or franchise business to come in, like McDonald's, KFC, Starbucks, Juice Coffee. Those are big brands. So they don't allow single small business to come in. That's why here will be clouded in the future and behind us, there will be another development. It's 195 acres. It's this big. They will build an outdoor eco theme park here. If you see from outside, the land is now clearing. What they will do, they will do a mountain bike active uh, event here. They will do an ATV here. They will do the jogging track here, hiking track here. 
all related to outdoor. They will put it here. So this will bring a lot of cloud for us in the future. So this is how we ensure the hotel that are managed and able to get the net profit margin for the uh, uh, hotel and the guests to share. So according to Gloria calculation and statistic, before all this happened, which means it's uh, now two, three years ago, on their market study survey and calculation, they managed to get 10% net profit from their operation, which means that one after well, throughout their operation, the owner are able to get 7% from the profit, right? So any question from here before I proceed to the showroom? Kevin, how far is the resort to the airport? Uh, one and a half hour. One, one and, and a half, half hour. hours? Okay. Yes. Yeah. One and a half hour driving. Driving, okay. Is there a faster way to get there? Yes, it's the faster way. Uh, in our planning, uh, in Gunding, they do have helipad here, but it's not open for public. Hope that one day okay. they will open for public. Yeah, so that you can take helicopter all the way to here. Mm. Yeah. I see. So this is the faster way. Okay. Oh, oh, by the way, I missed out one thing. If you are the owner, right, you will be free for 14 night free stay per year. Which means that every year you have 14 night to be free. If you don't utilize that rooms, you can give it to your friend or family that they come to Malaysia and travel. But you cannot accumulate to next year. So every year you get to free room from us. 49. Okay. okay. All right. Get some news out of that. To us? Yeah. Sorry. Oh, Ed was really excited about the free 14 nights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's <Ads> welcome. <laughs> so, Kevin, uh, you mentioned that towers one and two are eighty percent sold out. Yes, eighty percent sold out. Okay. okay. The client talk will be mostly by Hong Kong. Those customers are from Hong Kong majority. Oh, right. Because why they buy here in Malaysia? Because. Uh, somehow, uh, Hong Kong is also, they will face like uh, natural disasters like typhoon or like heavy rain. And then somehow Hong Kong sometimes will be very hot. They try to find a place that can vacation in Asia. It's the safe and same language. Because Malaysia, we have a multinational country. We can speak a good English. We can speak a good Mandarin. We can speak a good Cantonese. So, um. That's why they, 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 this is the reason why they choose to be here in London. Okay. Mm. Right. Oh, we have K K Korean <laughs> customer as well. Korean, but not for Japan. Yeah. Okay. So. so any more question you want to ask? Do you have no, any questions? No. No. Yeah, you then? Nah, let, let, let's go for the showroom on the top, which uh is a two bedroom. Uh it's a dual key. Let's go. All right, so this is the Type B, one of our major unit best sell for Tower 1 and 2. It's in the center, right? 
It's a dual key unit. This is how it looks like on the main entrance. And they have a link door here. So while we want to start a business with Gloria, we are paying eighty nine dollar per night. So this is how it works: eighty nine for one, eighty nine for one side, and eighty nine for another side. So if let's say they want to rent it out in the whole, then we will increase the price to one hundred and fifty dollar per night. <laughs> we make sure that this three star price with five star standard. Let's have a look. So this is all what you see is what you get. It's a single spread hidden unit aircon. It's not a standardized aircon. The wardrobe, they are all provided. TV, sofa, it's done with the curtain. So this is the balcony, but when in the future, we will put a barrier here to block two units so that eventually for a hotel to operate, this party on the bathtub will not be stared by other party we're seeing on the sofa. So this is another unit. So the bathroom here is slightly different. From another side, right? So there will be a two linger link here in the center. So whereby no now we can open here and open that. So it's suitable for a single fam uh, for a uh, two couples or one family that come to stay. So this unit that do we don't have a living area, but we have a mini bar mini bar here. Which for you to cook an instant noodle, boil some water. This is how it works. So for this room, is selling at two hundred and twenty thousand dollar. So uh, this is Ayla. Any more question to ask regarding this unit? What floor is that on, Kevin? Sorry. What floor is that on? Oh, uh, which floor? Every floor, every floor, yeah, every floor we do have all these kind of unit, except level nine, level sixteen, level twenty three, level twenty seven, and eight. Other than that, they have all these kind of unit. I will send to Angela a uh, available unit for sales. Then you guys can refer that. I sent you a floor plan, Rick. Then those. The floor plan is Yeah, that's in your inbox. And those uh, floor plans apply to every floor except for the ones he just mentioned. So you can okay. find this configuration. I'll look later. Yeah. All right. The the available unit now I also I will, I will send to uh Angela also, so you can refer to those who is uh for those unit is available. Okay, so any more to continue before we end the session? I don't think so. Rit, you got any other questions? Uh, so far, so good. I mean, it looks uh, it looks pretty good over there. Um, Look good is not a main important issue. You have to come and feel it. <laughs> Buy your you ticket know, and come. I, I, I was just going to say that next. Um, <laughs> like, I, I need to see it. Yes, come and feel it. You will find it fantastic. We're going to try and organize a trip before the end of the year. So you, you're on that mail list. So you'll know a month or more ahead of time when that's going to be. If it fits into your schedule, that'd be great. Anything in 2025? For sure. Yeah. 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 <laughs>
Yeah, oh. that would be cool. That would be cool, Kevin. If like you could get like an actual visual of the property, yes. I think it would. I would think it would just kind of uh, give it a give it a, a more light uh, versus over Zoom here. Yeah, you come across, take a look, you find it, feel it. What happened in uh, the project? And then we visit Gunting. We see how crowded is Gunting is. That's why I'm late today. Because Gunting, a lot of cars is going out to Gunting today as it's crowded. That's why I'm late because they are driving slow. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can, uh, we, we will show you how crowded is Gunting. We will take you around. We will take you go around for a look. Uh, what, what, how is the shopping one going? Where is the premium holiday ongoing? And uh, where is the casino? And what is the theme park? How it look like? So this is how we will arrange. Okay, very nice. Yeah. So at All least right, you well, know more. Kevin, we appreciate your time this morning. Yeah, I'm so sorry for the late. <laughs> That's all right. Thank you That's for your right. time also. It's a it's a late evening for you, right? <laughs> it's really late for Rit. He's uh East Coast time, right? So it's yeah, almost it's eleven late here. It's probably going yeah. ten. So yeah. It's eleven o'clock PM Eastern over here. Thank you for yeah, staying up with us. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah, Kevin. That. Thanks for sharing. That uh, yeah, the project no, yeah. looks like different when it's in person. Yeah, uh, Rit, I want to introduce you to Angela. That's the other uh, square on the screen. She's actually the developer. So if you had any questions for her, I'm sure she'd be happy to answer as well. Oh, awesome. Nice to meet you, hey. Angela. Hi, great to meet you, right? Uh, welcome, actually, welcome to Malaysia. So yeah, just get come over and, uh, you know, you get real feeling about the weather about mm -hmm. you know the population about the property there and about uh, how crowd about the casino and you will know okay actually that is uh, quite good you know the investment the projects there so yeah let's just try try to make a trip maybe we i will discuss with eddie later because we have a planning before uh we trying to uh, make a tour like a trip on september october before so we will discuss later and see uh, maybe end of this year or beginning of uh, 2025. Yeah, uh, hope you have a time, then just come join us. The beginning of 2025 would be, uh, Better. Would be nice. All right, all right. Yeah, during Chinese New Year, then even more crowds, then you can come all over right, and right. just get a feeling how like a special of the Malaysia, that country, because the culture, they get Chinese culture, Malay, Indian, you know, so like the location also is close to Asia. So it's uh, like a China, Asia market. They attract like a lot of Chinese person come over to do the investment and also right. Hong Kongese and also, you know, Japanese. They also like to uh, live in Malaysia because of the uh, weather. And also mm -hmm. the uh, Japanese, uh, they have like a, uh, the problem with the old person like a like a like a like a retirement life so they like to come over living in malaysia living costs is uh, uh, uh very reasonable so that's why it's very special the country even though they also attract like uh, you know the middle east and also australia and also in uh english because you know, so that's very special, the country. That's why we are not worried about, like, our project is huge compared with other mm -hmm. developers, like, just two or one or two buildings, blocks. But for us, right. we are not worried about that huge the projects taking up <clears throat> because we knew our location is next to the casino and also the Malaysia is a very special country. So, um, yeah. So it's very right. fun, okay. especially, like, beginning of the year is uh, like a Chinese New Year. So let's just uh, uh, discuss with Eddie, see how many people who are interested to join the tour. So we were trying to, uh, looking for the good timing and they just come over to join us. Sounds good, thank you. Yeah, yeah, sure. Thank awesome. you so much for spending the time with us tonight. Awesome, yeah, thanks for sharing. Yeah, thank you, Angela. Thank you, Kevin. We appreciate your sure. time as well. 
thank you everybody you okay thank you right. have okay a have day. a good night yeah okay, thank bye. you bye <laughs> take care thanks again Rick. take care yeah see ya. Okay. bye, -bye.